Very nervous. Let's find out. Black? Green. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me it worked. <laughs> what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know that's real camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because today is Hydro Dipping episode number three. You guys have been loving this series. Literally, the first two episodes got more than 20,000 likes in less than 24 hours. So I want you guys to go ahead and do this again. Take that like that like button. Give it a little pat on the butt. Slam it down the grind. Freaking smash it, okay? Smash the like button, all right, guys. I want to see over 20,000 likes. But anyway. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hydrating a bunch of ridiculous different swords, freaking kunai, all types of stuff. Not gonna show you everything, but you guys know the drill. <laughs> everything we're gonna be hydrating is under here, guys. But we're gonna be starting it out with one knife, as we did in the first video. So what we're gonna be starting is with this one right here, freaking dope knife. This is by for Survivor, pretty dope knife. Excited to try it on this one. We have all the spray paints over here. Have all the colors to try. We're gonna be trying some different ones too, like fluorescent, which I read online we shouldn't be trying because it doesn't work that well. But we're gonna try it anyway because why not? <laughs> so we're gonna be doing it on that. Hopefully everything comes out the way we want it to. But anyways, we started the first item. So if you guys didn't see the first two episodes, how it works is we have to actually tape where we don't want the paint at. So for this, I don't want the handle painted at all. So I'm gonna be taping the actual outside of the blade so we can get a nice fresh design on here. So we're starting it off with that by taping the handle. Then we're gonna tape all the other items. Then we have to spray them with primer. It's a long process that's gonna be skipped for you guys. because it's boring. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna the epic part, which is hydro dipping. So let's fart off. It's a fart off. All right, if, if you guys had to fart at home, right now is a chance. I guess apparently I'm just signaling it. Fart off. And after that, I'm just going to start off by taping this. And then after that, we're going to prime it. And then this will be our point to show you guys the process. And then after that, we're going to get into just dipping everything. All right, guys. So I taped around the handle. Pretty damn clean line. I always try and go for that manufacturer level cutting. So I got a pretty good line on there. So now I'm going to spray the primer. And then we're going to tape all these other items, guys. And then we're going to get straight into the dipping. I'm going to reveal them to you guys as we dip them. All right, guys. So I got the primer on there now. We're going to dip this thing. I'm filling this thing up. You guys in the comments last time said, hey, King Reptar, you should drive by a kiddie pool. It might be more strong. They didn't have kiddie pools at Walmart. <laughs> we're back to this thing. And as always, the love handles. Filling this thing up, and then we're going to add the paint in, and we should be able to dye this thing. All right, so for the first one, we're going to be doing purple, white, and also black. All right. Yeah, I, like so, I like that. Yeah, so hopefully, this is the first one we've done. Okay, actually, the first, the second video, we tried three colors. It didn't work out. We're going to try three colors again. I put a post on my YouTube story asking you guys what color combination you guys wanted to see and this is actually one of them so we're gonna try it out right now all right so we're gonna start off with black you guys know the drill it's a little bit tough but we're gonna try our best the first one we usually always freak up on so the goal is not to freak up today black go with that first then we're gonna go ahead and do white which right. we've never done before wow that is so potent okay now we're gonna do purple that looks good though actually not even gonna lie it's a pretty interesting color scheme all right ready oh i'm ready Okay, going in there. We've gotten really good at this at this point. Gonna move a little bit of this stuff out the way so I can come back up over here. Ooh, oh, okay. not bad for the first dip. I'm excited for this one. This one's gonna look real trippy. I'm gonna go down on this side. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see this side. Ooh. That's interesting. It's very unique. This is the first time we've done three colors and it actually looks decent. So again, guys, if you haven't watched the hydro dipping video yet, the whole thing is, is once we remove this tape, that's when we're going to see the gray design. We're going to throw a clear coat on it, actually sharpen the blade, and that's going to make everything pop a lot more. Let's move on to the next item, though. Now we're going to see the reveals of what item we're actually doing, though. This is the knife to start us off. And last time, each warm-up got better, right? Yeah, so this is the ultimate. This is the ultimate warm-up. All right, guys, so for the next one, we're going to be doing kunai. We have have all three of these ones right here. And Parker actually had this idea, so shout out to Parker, it's a good idea. Hey. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing yellow for Naruto, we're gonna be doing blue for Sasuke, and we're gonna be doing pink for obviously Sakura, the three original iconic characters of Naruto, mixed with black. So it'll be black and pink, black and yellow, and black and blue for all three different kanai making them their own design. But I want you guys to comment down below which is your favorite of those three characters after we're done with the knives. All right, so here we go, black and yellow. Last time we did this didn't come out the way I wanted it to. I don't even think it ended up making it into the video, actually. So let's go ahead and see how this one comes out. Here we go. Let's drop this one. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Oh, look dude, that. look at underwater. You I see know. That? <laughs> I know. I can't wait to see it. Come on, move, move, move. 
Oh! <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but let's do it again. <laughs> okay, drop that down and make sure we get the back one more time. I put in only a very little bit of black. I'll probably put more black on the other ones. It's just the way that yellow and black work. If I put a spray of black, it came out gray. If I put in two sprays of black, it came out all black. So it's it actually kind of reminds me of Sage Mode. Yeah, actually kind of does. So we have the Naruto one now. Let's do the Sakura one and the Sasuke one. All right, guys. So now we're doing the Sasuke one. We got black and blue for Sasuke. Uchiha, the most emotional kid in the Leaf Village. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Blue and black. Here we go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a goddamn second. That is, that is sick. Let's do it over oh, here, no. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Hey, guys, we were doing very light black because I did it on the Naruto one, so I kind of want it to be similar in the same scheme. Dude, the charcoal gray looks freaking epic with the white in the background from Absolutely. the primer. Absolutely. Yeah, so that, if you guys want to know why, that's why we've been priming it is because it usually leaves a better background than just the gray or black that's normally there. So that, that right there is perfect. All right, guys, so last up, Sakura, we got freaking black and a pink here. Let's try it out. We got the black and pink going here. I'm gonna go ahead and go down this vein right here. All right, ready? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. That looks like really, really like sensitive. We'll try this side now. All right, dip it in over here. Okay, <laughs> Dude. I'm liking that one. So we're gonna let Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura dry off and move on to the next item. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm nervous <laughs> because we're trying for the first time ever fluorescent paint and online there was nothing about this that said that it was supposed to be used. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be trying this, but we're gonna be trying fluorescent green because last time we did the green and yellow theme and it looked freaking amazing on the zombie hunter thing. We've got this zombie hunter's machete and the goal here is to do black and fluorescent green which would be awesome if it could work instantaneously will be one of my favorites if it comes out well if it comes out well that's the question but we're gonna find out right now hopefully it does all right here we go very nervous let's find out black green oh jesus oh yes please tell me it worked whoa Let's go on the other side, relax, relax, go on the other side real quick. <gasps> Whoa! Dude. Number one. That's my number one. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Wow! That one came out incredible! Did I say legendary? So that worked great. Look, let's hang that one up. Let that dry. Alright, guys. So next we're gonna be doing a katana. I actually freaking primed a full katana. The goal for this one though, we're gonna be trying to do all of these colors and see if we can just get like a rainbow design down the entire thing. That would be pretty epic if we can get to happen though. I think uh, if I'm just gonna be honest, like I, we have a certain expectation of what it's gonna look like. Yeah. It's gonna look very different. So I gotta do it fast. I'm gonna go orange, blue, purple. Wow. Red, green. Yeah, it's not coming out too bad, huh? Yellow. Finish it up with a little cyan blue. Okay, dude, that does not look that bad at all. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You get, oh, oh yeah. That. Oh, that's not too bad. Dude, that is not even the worst. Like, it's rainbow themed, but that is not the worst. We have all the colors on there. This one definitely came out interesting. I'm excited to see how it looks when we take the tape off of it. Hopefully it comes out solid. That is the rainbow blade. You guys actually recommended this on YouTube stories. So shout out to you guys for this idea because that actually came out pretty damn good. All right, guys, for the last item, we're going to be doing a DIY weapon, which is actually used in battle. This is Parker's actual blade saw bat. This one survived perfectly well, so I decided why not try this? We're going to try and actually hydro dip just the actual saw blade though the entire bat itself is taped let's see what happens and the colors we do for this one are blue red and black hopefully for like a spider-man as type vibe let's see what happens all right here we go ready okay we got that side we're gonna come over here for this side Oh, ho, ho. let's go ahead and go for this side real quick. Dude, that looks amazing. <laughs> that looks incredible. So remember guys, this whole bat is not hydro dip. So that should all strip off once we get down to the drying phase. But holy crap, this thing came out sick. <laughs> it really did. That, that's totally giving me like America and Spider-Man vibes. Yeah, 4th of July vibes. A little late, but all right. All right guys, so now we got all this stuff dry for two days. And after that, it should be good. And we're gonna take all the tape off and we're gonna see how they all came out. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt, but this is the last chance if you guys want to get into the giveaway for the Harley Quinn and also Joker Hydro Dip Bats from the previous episodes. As of this video being uploaded, there are two days till I announce the winner. So if you guys want to, the Instagram is on screen. Go follow your boy. All you have to do is like the photo, follow the instructions, and you could be entered to win one of these actual props from the video tomorrow. All right, guys, so it's been a couple days. As with always, it takes multiple days for this stuff to dry. So if you guys haven't already, smash a like button. 
Facebook ad would be great. Because it takes a long time to do these videos, but you guys love them. And honestly, there is so much fun to actually see the reveals of everything. And that's what we're doing right now, guys. We're going to be taking the tape off everything. Everything is dry. And man, with that clear coat, it looks so damn sweet. <laughs> oh, it really? It looks, looks, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it, <laughs> it's ready. <right here. laughs> oh, I was thinking clear. Oh. Uh, super smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good supplement. It's also, <laughs> one might say, it's super smoother. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be revealing all of these right now guys. We're gonna start the knife that we started with We got purple black and white came out freaking amazing after it's dry Let's go ahead and take the tape off of this one first move this stuff. We're gonna do one at a time guys This is 100% my favorite part. Like It's just so old. Oh, there's no paint on me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not down yeah. here now. This is the thing I was curious about is I don't know how good it's gonna work with that red handle Okay, there we go Woo! <laughs> The purple black and white do not necessarily go perfectly with the red handle, but damn <laughs> somehow it does like in a weird away that was the first one we did so this is this one right here guys we're gonna sharpen this one to get some of that paint off of the blade and like i said guys we're gonna test some of this stuff out after but let's go ahead and move to the next one all right so here we go guys now we're doing the naruto kunai this so far oh my god they all came out freaking sick as hell i agree the naruto uzumaki one the sakura haruno and then we got the sasuke jihad <laughs> all right so who do you think we should do first sakura sasuke or naruto who would we do first <laughs> easy answer <laughs> <laughs> okay, who would we pick to do unraveling first? So Sakura. Yeah. Just want to unravel her first. All right, so we're doing Sakura's first. Here we go. Let's go ahead and reveal this. The black was a great like, base color to use because, man, the handle is going to look so damn clean on this one. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> that is so rad. Yeah, just flip it over for a second. Well, oh, that's even more rad. <laughs> I've definitely always been more of an ass man myself, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sakura's, that is that one. Freaking epic. Let's move on. And I guess naturally what we have to do is, is, is uh, Naruto because, it, you know, it's his show. Oh, <laughs> that little bit of tape made such a difference for it some really reason. Did. That is so <laughs> that is my favorite so far. So far, I'm gonna actually have to agree. I'd say that so far is a couple that, well, not a couple, but, you know, <laughs> we didn't make it a Nada one, so. These are my favorite out of everything we've seen so far. These are freaking epic. Now, now, <laughs> we have Sasuke Uchiha's. All right, here we go, taking off Sasuke's now that I found the damn tape. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That one right there <laughs> is top 10 of all hydro dipping series altogether. Like episode, we're on episode three. I'm saying this is top five of all time. All right, let's put all of them by each other and boom. We have all three, Sakura, Naruto, and Sasuke in fired kunai. And you guys know these are gonna be one of the couple that we're gonna be testing at the end. All right, and the next one we're gonna be doing is the rainbow blade. <laughs> this one did not come out the way that we necessarily anticipated it. The problem is that katanas are so damn thin. There's not really a lot to hydro dip. So it doesn't end up coming out besides just like, as if we just painted each section. <laughs> so, God, but yeah. it doesn't look terrible though. It looks decent. Maybe it'll look even better once we take the tape off of it. Let's check it out. This looks like something like you hydro dip in kindergarten. All right, kids, today we're hydro dipping. And in kindergarten, you get like six colors. That's all you get. And that one kid's like, I'm gonna do all of them. Oh, it's not, I'm cool, I'm Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, honestly? Now that we have the handle, just this part out, it actually does make a lot of difference. Like just that alone. Yeah. It look a little bit better. So now let's get this bottom piece off and it should be good all right so we're getting towards the end here we're almost down to the bottom and here is the last piece all right here we go coming around and boom we got the rainbow blade i'd say this one definitely not in my top five it did surprise me but it's like putting makeup on a dog it doesn't really end up making it look a lot better yeah yeah man it's all about makeup on a dog right yeah maybe we should move on all right, guys, so now we're doing the Liberty Bat. They say one strike will strike freedom into a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Now we got this. I'm just going to reveal this whole side. I think I might be able to, hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I wish every time it worked that way. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Now let's get this top one. Ooh. <laughs> this oh, one yeah. came out freaking oh, yeah. sick. Ready for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> keep on going, baby, <laughs> right there. Now we have the Liberty Bats. All right, so now we have one last one to do, and then we get to test it. Okay, and last, we're doing the one that I think all of us thought came out the sickest from what we could tell, and that is the machete. Yeah. <laughs> this thing came out awesome. It's the only one that we use fluorescent paint on, and I'd say, guys, we put the clear coat on it, and it feels super solid. So I'm not, I think, honestly, I think fluorescent's fair game to use. So let's get this tape on. The thing that I didn't tell you guys in the video is that this thing has a green hand 
handle the this should accent with this really well as the hopes so let's go ahead and get this piece off oh god all right here we go last piece Oh. You come off, oh. dude! That right there—I can't even believe it. <laughs> that is legendary. And let's look at the other side. The other side is equally as sick in its own way. Ooh. <laughs> this right here is absolutely legendary. I love this. Obviously, you guys know what a what Parker's favorite colors is green, what? and obviously, and my favorite color, Reptar related, is green as well. So this is freaking awesome. But now we have the clear coating on this stuff. Now we should be able to try it out and see how well the clear coating work and if it can be usable what's the rank that's number one of I'm not, time? that's my number one <laughs> I would say for me honestly I'm gonna say this is top two top two this is my second favorite one of all time my number one is still tied between zombie Zaw sword and the dragon's blade all right guys so we're testing out the zombie hunter machete here let's see if the paint is gonna hold up find out here we go <laughs> kind of what I expected out of the legend. And the paint is still holding up. And you, you guys see what? what? It looks better. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do one last test and then we'll move on to the next item. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my. <laughs> Okay, you clearly heard me scrape the I, stone. I heard that and I was scared. And the thing is, dude, nothing. Where, nothing where, at all. Where'd you scrape? I scraped it right here. This Ooh, is where it man, scraped nothing. really good and Even nothing. Better. <laughs> better than the water. Keep thing. looking better. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we're going to be testing Sakura's Kanai, Naruto's Kanai, and also Sasuke Kanai. I'm going to throw all three of them. I'm going to try and get them all first try. If you were to guess which character was in this first, <laughs> I'm going to go and guess Naruto. All right, Sakura, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. I say that was pretty satisfying. Right. Sasuke thinks she's satisfying apparently. So Sasuke <laughs> couldn't care less about anything. <laughs> he just wants his family back. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> wow. Alright, now let's see if Sasuke as usual is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Now, Naruto, after being beat down to the ground, a bloody pulp, he stands back up and says, I'm gonna be Hukage. Handsome. And now you've seen Naruto season one. <laughs> Let's take a look at them. All of them pretty much held up. I'd say the only one that has a little bit of damage, and that might be because it took multiple throws, is Sakura with a little bit of this wedging here. But it's okay. She could take a beating. Yeah, she's taking many. <laughs> you seen so sorry? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we're going to be doing the Patriot Bat. Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Ready? Spider Man, no need you to be very responsible. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Hydro Dipping Part 3. If you guys want to see a Part 4, make sure you guys subscribe and let me know down below. And check out this video right here, which is actually Hydro Dipping Episode Number 1. If you check that video out, it'll put you on a playlist of every Hydro Dipping video, so that way you guys can check those out as well. And as always, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios.